All I could think about is 35 million, 35 million for a bridge. And my people in Abaco is still looking to the sky for help. Still don't have a roof. Many haven't started their foundation two years in. Many of them are still in a moldy, leaky dome. Hurricane has started to heat up. Next month would be the hottest month on record for hurricanes. Behind the government complex, they're still in a trailer. 95% of the government complex is loaded with COVID-19. The Defense Force Base is shut down with COVID-19. Hope Town, full with COVID-19. Green Tilkey, full of COVID-19. Dundas Town, Murphy Town, Marshaba is filled with COVID-19. And all the government could do is spend $35 million to build a bridge when we're trying to build our lives back. The question is, where is our member parliament of North Abaco and South Abaco? We know James has already gone back to America, trying to get his American passport and citizenship back. Darren Henfield sat at the table of decision-making. On this day, the 14th of August, 2021, I'm heartbroken because I care for people. My mother said, um, Kai, let them catch eternal hell. And when they catch eternal hell, maybe they will catch sense. Well, we are catching eternal hell. The ones that are in the base. Uh, some parts of Abaco don't even know there was a hurricane. All they came into town is to loot rob and steal and go back laughing like nothing happened but there's some people that's still going through the storm and they didn't have to go to the storm this long we didn't have to get a seven million dollar uh 30 domes we asked for the material but we have nobody to sit at the table to speak for us thirty five million dollars has been allocated for a bridge in Eleuthera? Did anybody hear anything for our member of parliament? The minister that everybody respects so much? Has he been speaking for anything for Abaco? Have you heard anything? That's a whopping amount. Boy, he may have got elected again if he could have got $35 million to bring materials to get people back into their homes. But have you heard anything? Have you heard any lumber coming for the docks at Grain Till Key, Crown Haven Dock, the dock in Marshaba? But what about the monies, the millions and millions? I get hard burning and ache. I just got to stop and I'm going to drop my guests off and they tell me about all the stuff that they um, brought in and give to the government the millions, I gotta go to Dr. Charlie to check with my heart because my heart starts to skip a beat because of how much monies while people were so remorseful. I knew we had a problem with this member of parliament there in Henfield. He was abroad and watch, watch the ignorance of somebody that you all think is so brilliant. People were giving him monies to help right away. Darren said, no, hold on. We're going to go and assess. Y'all keep your money. We're going to go and assess the damages. Then I will come back. I said to, to some of the people that know him, I said, look here, tell that brother, do not not accept that money while these people is remorseful. Take the money that they're given. 
these foreign uh, um, countries, and then go back. But don't say, hold on, we got to do assessment, and then come back. They may not be remorse then. And so said, so done, that idiot, international idiot we have. Nothing ever happened. To date, they have still not had a meeting with Avoco. Why is Pakisha Edgecombe, uh, whatever her name is, in charge of Nima getting paid? Why did Haram Lewis got paid? What is the purpose of Stephen Russell and Nima? Isn't they all in one? Cut up the money that the government has paid Haram Lewis and Pakisha Edgecombe. For being minister. They get a ministerial salary. Guess what? They haven't spoke on nothing that they're being paid for. They don't even know their job. They haven't even spoken to the people of North Abaco, North Central Abaco yet. Yet they're the minister responsible for recovery. Only thing is being recovered is the money that should be coming to us. It's going in their pocket. There shouldn't be NEMA on recovery. So what is Stephen Russell being paid for? What is the office of NEMA? What does that mean? While we all suffering, these f and fat cats are looking good. How much money has they collected? What have they done with it? Where is the VAT money? Where is the money for 47 homes? This alone supposed to tumble a government. You imagine that some foreign people was more remorseful towards us than the Prime Minister. When the Prime Minister went to Guanaki and met with Mike Melman and the rest of the people over there, he said, quite blank, let the white people rebuild Guanaki. He's not going to rebuild a thing. I mean, this is rape. Like, is he, did he get hit in his head with a piece of wood? Was he in the hurricane? Did he lose his senses? You're going to say to international donors, let the white people build your Bahamas? Well, you're not prime minister anymore. This is the idiot that we have as a leader. Y'all don't want to call him that, but I can call it what it is. Then the white people give enough money to rebuild 47 homes from November 2019. Coming up on two years. Now the house has been built. Then they came up with this big scam to confuse us more. They're going to build a house on in Central Pines. And some idiot from Nassau said, well, that will be upscale from where you were. There's nothing upscale more than what you have earned yourself. Abaco don't need no give out by the government. First of all. Second of all, it is not the government money. Baker's Bay members said it's to rebuild what you had. It's not for the government to decide where, how, and when to rebuild. So far, coming up on two years, they have not rebuilt one structure. That means 47 homes, 47 families. And if you have 5 to 10 in a family, look how many people is unnecessarily suffering because of the heartlessness, the loss of love, hope, that a government that don't have a heart nor a soul and is practicing how to steal from the people that went through so much. It has to be some stealing in the deal that not one, y'all got to understand, let, let, let's back up a bit, Kai. 47 families ought not be suffering today. That money was put aside from 2019, November. We know that much. The question is, where's the money? Who is holding the money? Big question. 
Why are y'all letting Abaco people suffer so long? And then you're going to go to Elutra and spend $35 million while your people don't have water, don't have buckets, do not have roof, in a dome, in a trailer, two years, and the monetary fund is available, and nobody in the whole of Nassau and the Bahamas is speaking on this huge dilemma. This is a hurricane war crime. Talk about war crime. This is a hurricane crime at the biggest. Man, they talk about the PLP stole 700 million. Well, how much did this government steal from the what money? We know about the Baker's Bay money. We just can't get the millions right. But we know that was enough to build 47 homes. And I'm going to stop right now because it's hurtful that nobody in the media is speaking about where is the people money. Kai is asking, and ask yourself, what if Kai was your member of parliament? Would Kai agree for 35 million to go to a bridge? No, because Kai cares. That's why he's here.